how YouTube has changed my life in ways that I completely unexpected. And there's three ways that I primarily want to focus on. I think when I first started YouTube, I had no idea what I was getting into, no idea, you know, what everything about the channel was going to be. In fact, this channel went through multiple changes. Now it's Ori Reacts. It's my reaction channel. It's about uplifting and building. But the first thing that I realized that it really changed my life is being more structured. I got to say, because I was more laissez-faire. I was like, I'll do this, I'll do that. But then as I got more into YouTube, you kind of, you try more. You know, if you actually want to elevate and succeed more on a platform, you kind of got to get serious about how you present your material, right? So it kind of shifted my mindset and made me more structured and pay attention towards the whole package and the value that I offer towards others, right? Because if there's no value in watching you, if you don't give something to a viewer there's no reason for them to tune in and really pay attention to what you're saying and i had to really think about that right so it me it started influencing me to be aware of the topics that i choose to say okay you could still choose what you want to talk about but does that topic that you want to discuss give value towards the person watching you and what in 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 what ways does it help someone right and by also finding the structure and finding that my channel is about reaction but it's also about uplifting and building in a positive manner it always keeps in the back of my head that whatever I'm doing needs to have a positive contribution and build someone you know whether it be through humor and laughs whether it be through sharing a story and sharing the experiences of others and, and how they overcame those stories, it needs to be built around the sense of positivity, right? So that structure instilled a whole mindset, right? That kind of filters into everything I do now when I go to create a video within, uh, you know, on for the YouTube platform now, which... I didn't even see coming out like I'll just post whatever type of video. Now it's like I'm making more conscientious decisions that are backed by evidence. Right. Did not see that coming. Did not see that type of structure coming for myself. Now, my actual when I record videos, I just talk freely. I don't have scripts or anything. I didn't want that. I want the most natural feeling conversation in the world. I lay my hand back on the wall. We're just telling it. It's just me and you. We're just talking right now. Right. The next way that it's, you know, really changed my mindset was I feel like as you get better on YouTube, especially when you're just starting out, because you're not paying people to do a whole lot of things for you. Right. You pick up so many skills. Right. Because let's think about it. You got to pick up copy, which is the writing of descriptions writing titles, making sure, you know, that it's catchy and can pull people in you before you even get to the title. A lot of um, YouTubers will tell you make your thumbnail, right? Because if you know what your thumbnail looks like and you know what people want to click on, that's going to inform your video and it kind of informs you for the rest of the way. Right. So you already got to start thinking about the layout and graphic design of your thumbnail that is will be a very important part into even making a person want to click to go to your video and watch it right so you gotta get the thumbnail right the title has to correlate with the thumbnail not be the same but correlate so that it continues with that same interest there are some titles are that are major clickbait that fourth that almost makes people have to click because they got to know what's the answer to this question or this sounds so interesting i i have to click i have to click right so we got that, you know, from graphic design to copy to SEO, SEO research, right? Because if you're not doing the proper SEO research for your videos, they're not going to rank as well as they possibly could. 
right? So you use things like maybe TubeBuddy or vidIQ to give you a better sense of the current trends around your topic and the best words to incorporate within your title, maybe within your thumbnail, um, within your hashtags, within your descriptions. <laughs> I'm still going, guys. Man, I said graphic design, copy, SEO research, right? Writing the description in a way where it supports the SEO research as well, too, and further connects to the the thumbnail, then your title as well. You know, putting all the links in. We haven't even gotten to actual shooting the video, making sure that within the first five seconds of your video, you have a strong enough hook to keep people around for at least 30 seconds. So now we're digging into the psychology of how to hook a person. I'm still going, guys. You see how many skills that a YouTuber begins to develop as they begin to take this more seriously or become more conscious of their actions if they choose to? Because you got people who maybe don't care. But for those who the top YouTubers in the game are aware of these little things and these little minute details of what hooks an audience, what keeps an audience around. OK, and then let's say, you know, we get past the 30 second, you know, we get the hook and you got them for 30 seconds. How do you talk in a way to make sure that they watch towards the end? Make it interesting enough. You got to you know, if you don't maybe if you're not the greatest speaker, then you have to have some incentive towards the end to say, hey, I've got something special for you. Stick around towards the end. Rah. <laughs> right. So dealing with the psychology of minds and understanding how to communicate so that people are like, I should continue watching this video to the end. There's it's something interesting he's going to say that's going to give value to me. Right. And that goes back into when I said structure and giving value. Right. So psychology of understanding how to give value to an audience to help them to keep around all the way towards the end. And not only about how to keep them towards the end, but how to bring them back. So knowing what to say and, and what words to incorporate within your videos to bring them back. That second point, YouTube has transformed my mind in so many different ways because it's forced me or encouraged me in order to elevate on the craft, right? On, on in the platform, right? It's It's influenced me to wear so many different hats of thought, right? Maybe if even if I can't do it, I have to find a person that does it well, right? So point one, I told you structure. Point two, I'm telling you the way it's influenced me to develop so many skills. YouTube, if you're going to be successful, you're going to become multi-talented. You're going to become a graphic designer. You're going to become a master of copy. You're going to become a master of human psychology as you get better. Because you're going to know what what's going to connect with your audience. Right? Boom. So that's number two. What would be the third one? The third, the third, the third thing of how YouTube has changed my life. Um, just my overall perception. I think that as I begin to get more and more into the craft of YouTube and developing these small things. It's just cha it's changed my my whole way that I process thoughts. Because right, we're understanding human psychology, so it's made me kind of like think more, right? Which plays into the structure, right? So now I'm thinking about it going in, but it's just like think about life, <sighs> the way that culture works, the way that trends take off, you know, and think about myself and, and who I'm going to be in this space. It's, it's made me think a lot about that and, and think about that perception as I continuously mold it, right? I think that the process of YouTube is more than just making a video. It's something that will change you internally as well, too. It's something that where you'll look in the reflection and you'll look at YouTube and it'll be a reflection of yourself. I feel like these platforms are reflections of ourselves, our ideas, our dreams, and everything else in between. It's almost become like a like a diary of your experience, right? Or a diary of something that you love to talk about or share. So it's, it's just changed my perception about how I engage. 15 years ago, the only way to express yourself would be in person with other people, but now we can reach people across the planet. 
And it just makes me think about how I can be connected to someone or sharing a moment with someone all the way across the world. I was just reading a comment the other day and it was just this individual who I believe was from India and, and had made a comment, you know, and he shared some of the movies that he liked and wanted me to check out. I just thought that was so cool, right? Like here I am sharing my experience, these moments, these stories, and now someone who's across the world who I don't know if I ever meet, I'm now having a conversation with them. That is such an incredible thing. I think it helped me, it changed my perception by becoming more global and understanding that there's a whole world out there, not just my four walls in this city, in this state, in this country. We have a whole world and it makes it, it makes me realize how much more connected we are, you know? I think that's incredible. So I did not see those three things coming, the structure, the the developing of multi-talented skills, and then the change of my perception and becoming more global. I had no idea that that would be happening, but I'm very happy. I think it's been a, it's been a positive effect, right? And it helps me cope and, and deal with my mental states. It definitely has brought more blessings. Helps distract my mind a little bit too. So this is our reacts. I hope everyone's having a a blessed night, blessed day. Man, just continue chasing for greatness. Until next time, ciao, ciao.